Hi, everybody, and welcome to Take Your Time Gaming. I'm your host, Katie. We're now on episode 42 of Fist in the North Star Lost Paradise. And like the episodes before it, it will be another hour long special of completing sub stories and mini games. So, grab a tasty beverage and let's get started. Uh, at the end of the last episode, we got three new bounties, and there is one right next to us in the bazaar. So let's go ahead and take care of that, because I have a full health bar. And the more money we have, the better. Alright, this one... yeah, it's these guys. I could have sworn we already killed them. Maybe there are repeats? Like, maybe there are some bounties that repeat because the dialogue is the same. Interesting. Well, let's kill him. I'm not even going to bother with the channelings because it's really hard to channel these guys. And there we go. That bounty is taken care of and that should be 30,000 IDL, I think. Really? Rank A? They're giving that to me because I didn't use a technique at all. Whatever. Didn't take a lick of damage. Sweet. Case closed. All right. I will never say no to more money. All right, so we have these two over here. So let's go take care of, this is the Neon District, right? Yeah, so this is the other non-story bounty. So let's go take care of him. And we really do need to get back to the wasteland at some point to go train with Toki. And I need to find another fine nail. You don't say anything interesting. What, Tsuki? I know. You're bitching really loudly. Wow, I made it past them. I didn't think that was gonna happen. Oh god. Avoided. He's the same too, isn't he? Yeah, these guys keep popping up. Apparently, they continuously break out of prison and the guards have not learned their lesson. But that's okay. This guy, I think, is worth 70,000 IDL, which is pretty awesome. Ooh, and I see that Nugget is ready, so when we thin out this crowd a bit. I need to use it. I'm not sure if by the end of the main story we'll have been able to fully pay back the old woman. That may be something that is a lot easier on a new game plus, but we'll see. Yeah. I love this one. Spinebreaker. I like how he blinds him first. Wah! Excuse me. They call me the Flying Kickman. <laughs> Get it? Instead of like the Flying Dutchman or anything else that makes sense. Dang, I'm always slow on that one. Come here, buddy. Now you're scared because I killed your boss. Come on. Ugh. Rude. I saw that, by the way. Oh, look at you! Trying to be all nimbly. Yeah. <laughs> 
This one is so handy. I'm so happy I unlocked this skill. Speaking of skills, I did level up and I still haven't actually done anything. That's okay. Well, let's just both miss each other. Alright, nugget use. But my face is in the way, so I don't know how much money we made, but that's okay. We now have more money than we started it with. <laughs> And we end on the perfect channeling. I love that. B? Are you kidding? I guess it just took me a while because I took a scratch of damage. It doesn't like that I flying kick everything. Yeah. So that's a hundred thousand IDL that we just made in two fights, which is pretty sweet. Yum. Okay. So let's go do the story uh, bounty hunt since I still don't need heal. Because I'm just that good, right? <gasps> no. But okay. Oh, no. We're going to avoid you. Got enough time for that. Alright. Paradise Bar. Oh my goodness. Ugh. My cat just dragged her string in here. Because she's so desperate to play, so I'm going to oblige when I'm not in combat. There we go. Excuse me, huge old lady. No, you're supposed to- you. All these fried bugs. Well, where's the, the bounty? Oh, here's somebody to talk to. There's a bounty on your one-eyed head. <laughs> Ooh, I'm frightened. Bounty located. Alright, Suki, mommy has to kill some people. Stunned him. Okay. One heavy taken out. Ah, there's somebody licking my toes. It's my cat. But I realized how strange that could sound. Dang, that one I always miss. Yeah! In and on the perfect. I love that. Feels so good. Alright. Rank A and the bounty. Is that the first wave or is that it? Ah! <laughs> It's Asuka! Oh, I didn't even get to kill him. You don't execute Dinah Dashers. Oh, 
Uh huh. I think Isuka leads a double life as like the Batman of the city. 800,000 IDL. Woo! And we've cleared substory 71, Dinah Dash. All right. So, what is next on our list? Uh, I'm going to go back to the barracks and find some more bounties, see what our next one is. Or, actually, since we're right here, I lied. Let's go to the Colosseum. I'm only missing a smidgen of health. Oh god. Run! Run, Kitty! Run! Good. All right. All right. To the Colosseum. And let's see who we can battle, because they will- Colosseum duels will also unlock bounties. So I'm going to save. Because that was 900,000 IDL we just earned. And let's check out who there is to kill. <laughs> so let's look at the gladiator games. I am pretty sure, yeah. Our next one is a level 40, which I don't think I'm ready for that one. So let's look at duels. Ah, wow. All right, so we have three more. Komaki is who we unlocked by beating him in a private substory. So we have Helmet the Madman. Ha ha ha. Helmet. Get it? Helmet. Message. I don't like you. Everything about you rubs me the wrong way. So, let's fight. A psychotic fighter who hides weapons on himself. He's killed before and he'll use any means to win. So, let's take this guy on. We'll get a grudge on guy. Ooh. We get Joggy Shotgun? Some good stuff, actually. If we keep beating him, but... I don't know. I just... Once I've beaten someone once, usually the prizes are not a big enough incentive for me to do it again. Oh, hello. Yeah. Break that guard. Cor little crotch stomping. I thought I had a perfect channeling on him, but apparently I did not. Alright, he's half down. Oh god, he's leveling up. Come on, get up. He's stunned though. Ow, he shot me! Pretty sure that's cheating. Haha. -ha. I much prefer the duels to the, like. the big Colosseum matches, just because, I don't know, it's like Hunter versus Hunter and Bloodborne. It's really satisfying. Are you still alive? I thought he was dead. I was not prepared. Alright, now he's dead. <laughs> we can skip the victory pose, because I've seen it a lot, because, <laughs> what can I say? I won a lot. <laughs> We're playing string so vigorously, much vigor. All the hunting. Yep, yep. Ooh, a special bonus. Oh, that should be our grudge all guy. Okay, cool. We got twenty five fifty points.
Let me just look at the other duel. So level 42 is Komaki. Let's, uh, I'd rather be at full health for that. So what are we going to do? We are going to head to the barracks. So I'm going to cut here uh, until we're back there and we're going to look at the what new bounties are available to us. So I'll see you guys in just a quick second. All right, dudes, we have three new bounties. So let's check them out. The serial killer for 950,000 IDL. A body was found slashed to pieces. The MO matches that of the infamous Ripper. Witnesses report, blah, blah, blah. Witness reports place the deaths at night around the Eastern end of the junk district. So we're gonna take this. I rested in the interim and it is daytime, but that's okay. And then we have this guy again, um, who when I fight him, I'll just cut him out since we have seen him before. And we'll take this guy again, the brutal assaulter. But these are just ways to get more cash, which is very helpful. And they refresh every time you get a new bounty. Substory 72, a knife in the dark. Really? Hey, Mick Jagger, we don't get to see you much anymore when I'm not doing main story stuff. Ugh. A copycat killer, great. He was dead in the cell. No, he died on the street. Oh, I, actually, that was the previous bounty, wasn't it? <laughs> uh, oh god, please tell me Isuka is not evil. Or has his own version of justice that involves killing people in prison. <laughs> okay, well. It is not tonight, night time, so we can't do that. But one thing I want to do is go check the bar and see if we can finally complete Tyler's quest since it's daytime. Because sometimes changing the day uh, will kickstart a sub story. So let's go to the bar and see if we get anybody new while we're working. Who do we have? Huge old lady. Nobody knew. Well, you know what? I'm just going to go ahead and do some of these to see if he Tyler pops up on the second or the third customer. Because sometimes he's not the very first one. And we need to rank up anyway, so... I want to max my bartender rank. It's a matter of pride. I'm not just doing it for the cash. I mean, a lot of the reasons the cash. Alright, let's see if he's here yet. Yes, he is. Excellent. So he showed up on the se as the second customer. He wants a bitter drink. He called his wife by their old pet name. She turned red and hit him in the gut. What? All right, Tyler. He wants a bitter drink to suit fit his mood. Their relationship is just one giant mess. Despite how tasty my cocktails are, I don't think it's enough to fix this marriage. <laughs> All right, tell us what happened, good buddy. All right, we have Max Tyler. So 
So we have no idea why... Oh, we got a canned meal from him. We have no idea why an old pet name upset her. Alright, let's see who... You're ranked two. So... Oh, you're a stirring one. You're all stirring. Let's try the rank two stir. We'll get more experience. Well, this failed miserably. Good thing he's already maxed. Oh my god, we did it with less than a second left. <laughs> oh my goodness, I did not think that was going to happen. Well, sweet. You better tip me big for that one, buddy. Wow, look how much we get paid now. Oh my goodness. And we got a lot of experience points. We get paid so much more now for, per customer now that we're rank A. That's incredible. All right, well, cool. We have maxed Tyler's rank, but the sub story still didn't go away, which is interesting. The sub story marker. But so what do we want to do next? I'll tell you what I want to do next. I want to go train with Toki. So that's what we're going to do. I am going to cut here, take the buggy out, and come back to you when we are at Cassandra. Alrighty, we are at Cassandra, and it's time to learn a new skill from Toki. There are skills I must teach you. Alright, let's see what ninja stuff. Training, channeling. Fight against Toki without holding back. Learn the technique from Toki. Two to go. Should I let him hit me? I think I'm supposed to let him hit me. I just hate that. Oh, there we go. That was it. That was cool! Oh my gosh, it paralyzes your opponent. Yeah, that was awesome. It doesn't do any damage, but it paralyzes you. If I fight without holding back, though, like nothing. Oh, we can use Nugget, though. Perfect. Come on, I need you to use that special move against me. Not the one that causes damage, do the paralyzing one. God, that does a good chunk of damage. I'm just too good! I stun him so easily. Alright, come on, get back up, Toki. I got places to go, people to see. Stop being stunned, come on. <laughs> Push! <laughs> Oh, that would have done it if I hadn't moved. I am like elbow punching him in the jaw. Oh my god. Let's dance. Dancey dance dance. Now kiss. Don't want to stun him. He's easily stunned. Yes. 
There we go. Triggered. Okay. That is a cool move. I hope it's not too hard to execute. Secret technique mastered. Rude! That was cheating. Alright, let's see. Let's look at our abilities. Sweet. We have learned the Shining Star of Death Flurry Strikes. Use a perfect channeling when the Star of Death shines. Perform sublime transients to strike multiple foes and channeling points, even if they're not in Meridian Shock. Dude. So as soon as I hit a perfect channeling, that will happen. Ooh. And then we can train with him again, which is part of the reason I unlocked that. All right. Let's kick his bootay. Aha. I love the invulnerability during dodges thing. Ow! I was trying for a perfect channeling, but it didn't work. All right. And we got another level, sweet. <laughs> you learned one of Toki's skills, Shining Star Death Flurry of Strikes. Sweet, all right. And we ha are fully healed, so let's learn that last skill. This will be our final Toki training session. Which is kind of sad in a way, but also pretty awesome that we got through all of this. Jumping. Watch when he is jumping to learn his final move. Celestial Hundred Fist Rush. Dude, that was cool. So I just have to do this repeatedly. At least it's only one button. That makes it easier. All right, one more, and then I will have learned it. Hey. Secret technique mastered. All right. Let's go ahead and access this. We have learned the the celestial hundred fist rush. Pursue an opponent opponent who has performed a jump dodge and unleash a hundred fist rush upon them. Only a certain skilled foes can use a jump dodge. Yeah, like bosses. Press circle when the chant appears on an opponent's dump jo jump dodge. Okay. Ooh, I like that. 
I need to unlock that at some point. Why not? Okay. Let's crush him. He's definitely a lot tougher now, which is cool. Ah, missed that dodge. I tried, but I... He followed me. Ow. Ow, that hurt. Damn. You can turn so fast. Ah, I knew it. I knew what he was going to do when I tried to move it. Is that enough? Yeah. All right. We got 22,000 destiny points for that. Woo! All right. Final training with Toki complete. Let's see if he has anything else to say. So we will be able to fight him if we so choose to, but he's probably like level 99. Let's see if he has anything new to say. Interesting. Okay. Well, that part of the game is complete. So, what's next? Let me ponder this. Uh, I might go to the, uh, the hillside village and just see if there's anything new there. Probably wander around. I still need to find Nail. So, yeah. I'm just going to go do a little exploring and I'll come back to you guys when I know what our path is. Uh, I got to the hillside village by hitching a ride and as soon as I entered, this happened. So I am bringing you back. Yes, I do. I, actually, I need to upgrade my engine, but I don't have the right materials. Nani. I have all of that stuff. <sighs> Bat studying. Secrets to customization. Ooh. Substory 26, manual transmission. Oh. Heck yeah, I can do that. What does he want, like superior whiskey? Do I have to actually go make him a cocktail and bring it back, or do I need to give him, like, whiskey? Let's see what this guy has to say. 
I hear sub story music. Can do, but a sub story 34. It can't go that way. All right, so that's just a killing people sub story, which is easy. We can do that. Hmm. Sorry, you me. Let's see what we have in our item box. We have Supreme Whiskey, which is our only alcohol, so let's go ahead and stick that in there and see what happens. Let's talk to him. I really don't want to waste Supreme Whiskey on him if I don't have to. What? I did not click on the buggy! I clicked on him! Ugh! Oh my goodness. Alright, let's talk to this guy. Potatoes. I don't have a potato snack, do I? Dang it, he took my only supreme whiskey. That man has good taste. Yeah, I think I'm going to have to buy something, probably from the huge old lady. The Paradise Bar? Let's make sure we don't have anything. We have lots of canned meals, but I don't think that's what he's looking for. Rice juice! Might as well go ahead and drink those. And that's all we have. Okay. So now we can unlock this buddy. Essence of the War God. Which I wanted. Sweet. Don't think there's anything here. Oh, I could unlock this. Ooh. Spring of life. And I don't see any blue ones that are available yet. Alright, so we need a potatoey snack for this dude. So let's not forget, potatoey snack. And now we need to go save. I guess I do need to click on the buggy from behind, which is kind of weird. Here we go. Alright, so let's go beat up those ruffians who are blocking the mountain path. Just for the heck of it, I'll probably try that buggy race too. All right. Ah, this must be it. Okay. But there was a buggy race near here. I think probably up this way. I'm still looking for a fine nail. go this way. I can't remember where that- I, it was an auto stop where I was just driving through the wasteland headed towards the hillside village and that's when uh, the man stopped me and asked if I wanted to race up the mountain path. So I can't totally- I don't totally remember where it was. See I get- ooh a fine bolt. It's handy. It's not exactly what I wanted though but it's cool. Here? I think he was around here. 
See, I've got fine chains and fine bolts, so I should be able to find a fine nail around here. This is where he was, I, I thought. These guys are going to try and attack me, so... Toodaloo! Haha, -ha, they have to turn around. Oh, oh, he must be at the break. Okay, so I'm going to cut here while I do all the zigging and zagging, and I'll come back to you when I either reach the race or I reach the substory. Okay, guys, I'm back, and I actually managed to pick up a few fine nails on that little journey, so we are ready to complete Lynn's uh, next quest uh, next time we are in Eden. So let me write down this timestamp. And let's go ahead and try this race. All right, so I get to race for free because it's my first time. And it's gonna end terribly, I just know it. Oops. Oh my god, Katie. So squirrely. I just, I don't like the racing. I'll admit it. I don't like it. It's not my thing. But I've never enjoyed racing games anyway. But I know better than to try and mess with the, uh, you. Oh my god, my durability is already so low. Come on, buddy. I don't know what those BPs do. Oh yeah, they're, they're racing points. Yeah, I can see why running out of durability will ruin your racing. Ooh, somebody just blew up there. Did you see that? Oh good. Shiitake mushrooms. Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. Ah, Katie! Why are you so bad? Why is the buggy so squirrely? This is not a Corvette. I don't understand. Well, that was awful. Third place. I was doing okay until I just kept hitting the rails. So I got 54... BP points for that whole thing. Hill Climb Cup open. A new race, the Hill Climb Cup, is now available. Speak to Bat to race in the Hill Climb Cup. So it's good that I don't have to keep my coming back here if I do want to try it in the future. Alright, so let's go ahead to this side quest. And what we really need to do is upgrade our buggy so it performs better in these races. But the problem is finding the right parts. So yeah, we just want to go straight down here. But I mean, third place isn't like terrible, but we should see if there's anything good to trade our battle points for. If BP is indeed battle points, I don't remember what it stands for. Yeah, I just don't like the racing. I don't think the mechanics done very well. So we did get a, uh, ooh, ooh, I see a red one, a new, wow, I completely just lost my train of thought, Katie. Oh my god. Well, never mind, just ignore everything I say because my memory is shoddy. Oh my goodness, what was I going to say? Oh well. Alright, at least we have the tires to pass through this. Ah, uh, here is the blockade. Our blockade is perfectly legal. No, it isn't. <laughs> oh, 
Ha ha ha. <laughs> oh. That was my Kinshiro impression, by the way. Oh. Right, because clearly one dude is carrying enough food to feed all of you. Alright, battle time. I like how they're like, their battle cry pose before they... You know what I don't like? People like you. Look at all of these! I'm amazing! These are famous last words, by the way. Boom! God, I love perfect I got a perfect channeling on every one of those guys. That was amazing. Oh, Nugget's ready. Shoot, I should have used him. Her. So strong! Yeah, that's right. Places to go, like, not here. You now bear Mohawk Man's Star of Destiny. The Wasteland Talisman is now refinable. I was not expecting to get a Destiny Talisman out of that, but okay. Sweet. So we can actually pass through here and unlock this save point. So I think that's what I'm going to do, and then I'll hitch a ride to the village. But for now... I will see you guys when I am back there completing the substory. So I managed to hit a bunch of really good items on that track. Uh, lots of four and five star materials. And we just ran into Jean again. Which will probably start another race. But I am very low on fuel so I'm trying to get to that tanker. We will come back to him, and I'll attempt it just because. But right now, we need to unlock this fast travel point and to gas up. Because when I was halfway through that, I got the low fuel warning and I was just like, crap. <laughs> I really hope I don't get a game over. Yay! Sweet. All right. Uh, let's go ahead and try that race, and then we'll head back to the hillside village. Oh, who are you? She is? I'm sorry. I was not expecting to find a beauty at a, at a petrol station. Sweet. All right. We have a new hostess. That was unexpected. I'm glad I noticed her. All right, let's go try this race. Just to humor y'all. Let's see, where are you? Nope, that's not it. This is it. Oh, come on. Every, every time. But my battle plan is to try this race, go back to the village, and collect our prize. And then give Rin all of the stuff she needs so that we can progress to the final stage of her side quest. At least by doing it, it unlocks it for Bat in case I just get a wild hair and just decide to actually become a good racer. Because you never know. At least it doesn't use fuel to race. 
Oh, that was a ramp. I missed that. Clearly, Katie's not trying. But I do like points. Because even if I get last, I still get battle points for every coin I pick up. And that means uh, I can use them to redeem for prizes. Oh my god, I hate this. <laughs> the only thing that we are missing by me not winning uh, are actual sub-stories. Uh, for every race that we unlock, we unlock a sub-story by placing first. And that sub-story is always a is always racing involved. Basically we have to be like the king of every new track we unlock. And there's really not much story involved. It's basically like, I'm the king of the track. Can you beat me? And then we beat him and we get more car parts for it. So that's why I don't feel bad not including too much racing in this. This is just the worst. Like, I don't... I don't even see the other racers. We're so behind. <laughs> oh, Katie. That's okay. That's okay. I have some strengths. This racing thing is not one of them. Wow, we were five seconds behind third place. That is terrible. But we got 86 battle points, which is pretty cool. <laughs> buggy points. They're buggy points, not battle points. That's what they stand for. Oh, you were so close. Sweet. Mountain Path Challenge is now available. Alright, so let's reverse again, despite how many good items I get. Unless, do I want to unlock... All right, actually what I'm going to do is cut here and go all the way out there to unlock that fast travel point as well. So I will see you guys once I have unlocked that. All right, I am back. And let's tell the mayor that we solved his problem. Handling wing. And we have completed step story 34, can't go that way. Ooh, 15,000 destiny points. We've completed 45 out of 50 sub stories, which is pretty darn cool. All right, so we still need a potato snack for that guy. So let's head back to Eden. And then we'll complete Rin's side quest. And go shopping for something potato tasting. And because this is going to be really quick, I'm not even going to bother cutting. Oops. Let me hop in my buggy. And there was nothing interesting at the fuel station in the southern dunes. I just unlocked the fast travel point. Alright. Hopefully with all of the materials I've picked up, I'll be able to upgrade my engine, too, so that we can finally get past that quicksand area. Because that's been blocking off part of the wasteland this entire game. Let's go ahead and talk to Bat, since we're here. And see if we can change our engine with all the new parts I got. No, I need 24 steel wires and 12 fine nails for that, so that's not going to happen. Goodness gracious, this all requires so much. The only thing we have enough of is petroleum coke for that. Brakes would be good. Better brakes. Oh, we can do brakes. Alright. We have better brakes, which is kind of awesome. We can upgrade our gas tank as well, but we don't have enough plastic. Do 
Don't have enough for that. Don't have enough for that. <laughs> Alright, let's change our car color. Um, because I was eyeing the lime green and I like it a lot. So. Let's look at our prizes just to see. Because if we can trade for things that we need, that would be handy too. Get watered whiskey. Kerosene. An interesting array of things, actually. A diamond necklace. Hmm. Interesting stuff. Of course, we can hardly afford anything, but that's okay. All right, so let's run talk to Lynn. Nope, I'm running, and I'm faster than you. Zoomy zooms! And uh, we'll need to change it to nighttime when we want to go take on our bounty. So we have the canned gruel, the decent jerky, and all of that. Oh, but we're going to need the nail, which is hopefully still in our inventory. But we can always run to the item box real quick. Alright. Prime jerky. Yes, we have all of this. And we have 15 minutes to do it, and we get 20,000 IDL. Took us one second. Because who accepts that before you have all of the required materials? I want that outfit so badly. Why isn't that available? I think it's awesome. <laughs> Grocer Kenny. Yay! And we got a trophy. Employee of the month. And now I believe we're on her third and final affection rank. So we'll have to rest and change that up. But let's go ahead and make it nighttime and then we'll go hunt down that bounty. Unless we can possibly give the old woman some money now. Oh my god. How much money do we have? I gotta move my face with this. We have 4.7 million, so let's pay 2.5 million. Hey. I'm sure you did. Let's go ahead and pay another million. We are never going to complete this. I really do think this is more for like a new game plus. But alright. We have paid some money to her. The greedy wench. And let's change it to nighttime. I kind of feel like changing my outfit too. Always feels like a waste when I'm resting when I have full health. Let's change our outfit. We've been in this outfit for a while. Let's do the default. Or maybe that was manager. I don't know. Doesn't matter. It's a change. Variety is the spice of life, don't you know? Don't you know? Okay, we're manager can again. Now we look like a legit bounty hunter. Like someone Tom Cruise or Jason Statham would play. Because I like to bounty hunt in a tuxedo. Nothing says I am looking for people to cash in for money than a tux. Alright, so that's the Neon District guy. That's the... Yeah, that's the other guy. So where's my... Where did he say he was? The... Was he back at Paradise Bar? Oh wait, here he is. He's in the Junk District. Alright, let's run over there and catch him. 
My stomach is growling and I really hope the microphone can't pick it up. <laughs> I'm gonna have to eat something after this. At least we got new brakes, that's pretty neat. Oh, you just ask if we want to go up to the roof. Sorry, I'm taken. Nope, avoid. Oh god, so many people to avoid. Can she do it, ladies and gentlemen? I don't know. Yes, she can. Wow. And no one is bothering to help this, and it's happening just in the middle of the street. Ew, you pervert. I love you, Kenny. You're such a great hero. That makeup is horrifying. Bounty located. Alright, we're gonna take out the Ripper, finally. There's been so much build-up to this fight. Since we started bounty hunting, there have been rumors of the Ripper. I, you know what? It's petty and stupid, but it really bugs me that Nugget crows like a rooster. Because Nugget's a chicken, and you know what they don't do? Crow like roosters. But despite all of that, Nugget is probably my favorite character. <laughs> Alright, where are you? Dummies. What the hell? How did that hurt? You didn't even hit me. Ah, yes. Twin execution. Enjoy this. Boo! Dang it! I hit it fast enough and it was the wrong button. I hit triangle, not circle. Forgot. Because I knew it comes up really fast, so I just hit hit one. But I, was, I chose the wrong one. That. Damn. I forgot about how fast that one goes. I'd never get that one right. Alright. The Ripper. Last guy. Done. We have taken down the Ripper and we got 950,000 IDL for that. Sweet. Yeah. Okay. Didn't want to say anything. I did not think that guy was actually the Ripper. I kind of felt like that was the copycat because they weren't going to just like throw him at us with not enough fanfare. Nanny. <gasps> oh my god, it's her. This is dark and creepy as heck. Oh god, it's gonna be Usuka. It's definitely Usuka. Usuka's the Ripper. Bye. 
But we've completed sub story 72. What a happy note. A knife in the dark. Oh my god. 10,000 destiny points. Jeez, this is creepy and chilling. All right, well, the last thing I want to do before I call this episode quits is head back and get our next official bounty. So let's run all the way back down to the barracks, pick up our bounty, and then we will be able to be done with episode 42. Just gonna run, just keep running, just keep running, just keep running, running, running. <laughs> ah! That's right. I have the endurance of a mongoose. I don't even know what that means. But I have it. Oh, that's interesting. I didn't even get to talk to him. Whoa! Okay, so we have... Twisted Justice. A vigilante has been taking the law into his own hands by killing criminals for every for even minor infractions, along with any witnesses near Respite Street's back alleys. One million IDL. Twisted Guard. Alright, we can do that. And then we also have the Dine and Dasher. Is a huge man who left a restaurant without paying, killed a bystander who attempted to stop him, then overpowered the nearby watchman, last seen around the junk, junk district for 20,000 IDL. So he is broken out of prison, apparently. Or, no, actually, he's different. He's a different Dine and Dasher. But all right, so we have these random guys to earn some money with, and then we have the official bounty. Substory 73, Twisted Justice. Oh my. Okay, so that will be our next our next mission. But for now, that's the end of episode 42 and I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please thumbs up this this video. Please subscribe to the channel and follow me on Twitter at TYT Gaming Capital K Capital C. And have a fantastic rest of your week. Cheers, guys.